What's good, y'all? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be reacting to Dark Fairy Tale, inspired by Magic the Gathering by Snarled. Now, I know I said I was going to post every day during October. I ended up going on a little, you know, vacation type thing and meeting my online friends, and I had a fun time. I had a good time, but I'm back. No more slacking. I'm posting every single day during the week. Y'all already know how it is. Um, to be no slacking now. I don't think there's anything coming up where I'd be gone for a long period of time. And if I am, I will for surely make sure to post while I'm gone. But as of now, there's nothing. So we're good. Um, I missed y'all. Feels good to be back. Let's get into the video. Hey, I'm Sapphire. Want to hear something oh, scary? scary? This shit making nigga head bob every Take time. This, in. this week's video was sponsored by Wizards of the Coast. Now, enjoy an original dark fairy tale inspired by Magic the Gathering, Throne of Eldraine. I don't know shit about Magic the Gathering, so we'll see how this shit In go. the countryside of Ardenvale, on the outskirts of Beckborough, there was a family dairy farm that fell upon desperate times. To save the farm, the father sent his eldest daughter, Gertrude, to sell the family mule at the nearest village. After a half day's travel, Gertrude arrived in the village of Beckborough. She made her way to the marketplace and began asking around. The merchants waved her off or made joke offers on her mule. It was almost enough for her to give up and go home until she met a charming man in a feather cap. That's a good, strong animal you have, the man said. You deserve a good price for a mule like this. He made Gertrude a generous offer, even more than she expected, and traded her mule for a full bag of silver. Cheerful I did ask that that was like a fucking Gertrude brain. skipped and jangled to a building named the Baker's Inn. She decided she could afford a room for the night before embarking home the next morning. The inn was warm and lively, with customers lined up to purchase dinner pies from the bakery counter. Gertrude reached the counter and she met the welcoming eyes of the baker. She eagerly placed a piece of silver on the counter and requested a pie and room for the night. Smiling, the baker placed the silver on his scale. But at that moment, his smile changed to a frown. He grabbed Gertrude by the wrist. Where did you get this? You can get in a lot of trouble buying goods with plated counterfeits. Gertrude Wait, what? looked down at her bag of silver, confused. Oh, she got played. reality settled in. She began to weep. I didn't know. I thought the silver was real, I swear. She pleaded. The man in the feather cap tricked me. I sold my family mule to him, and now I can never show my face at home. The baker felt Fuck. bad for losing his temper. Oh, you poor child. That is not fair. He handed her a pie from the rack and gave her a table to sit and eat. With cheeks still moist, she ate the pie. It was hot and filled with a delicious, very tender beef filling. It was beef. no wonder the bakery had people lined up earlier. It was evening now, and Gertrude had nowhere she could go. So but the about baker the chicken had pies. a proposition. Young miss, you saw how busy it got in here today. How would you like to work for me? You can live in the spare room and parcel money home to your family. Gertrude was speechless. She hugged the baker, and after he showed her the room, he explained her duties. She would clean, tend the bakery counter, and prepare the guest rooms. Gertrude would have a chance to save the family farm after all. She fell fast asleep. Later that night, she sprung awake to the sound of blood-curdling screams echoing through the walls of the inn. Was this a nightmare? What could she do? That's Gertrude just some creepy clutched the sheets to cover herself and laid scared for a long time. But eventually, the screaming ceased and she drifted back to sleep. At sunrise, Gertrude came downstairs and welcomed a knight in noble silks with a sword at his hip. When the baker came out of the larder, Gertrude asked if he had heard the unsettling screams the previous night. Oh, what you heard last night, the baker began ominously, is the inn's worst kept secret. We have the fuck a, is a secret? problem. We're lousy with them, in fact. If I what? known better, I wouldn't have built my bakery in a haunted inn. They're a new Nigga, huh? Yes, but they're harmless, I promise. This statement prompted laughter from the knight across the room. Hold up. Hold the fuck up. First off, how are you gonna hire me and I fully move in and now you decide to tell me that this bitch haunted? Haunted. 
And you said, I don't think the I don't think the ghosts are like scary or anything. Nigga, what? They're ghosts. What is wrong with you? <laughs> See this black Sounds people like couldn't do it. I've seen look all right. you look like you look white to me. Is fairies, red caps, and trolls, but never a ghost, he said. Well, tonight, maybe you will, derided the baker. The baker sent Gertrude to prepare the night's room, and after a long day of sweeping and selling pies, she sat down to a tasty pie of her own. Later that night, she awoke to more terrible screams. Well, I feel like now, this nigga slaughtering niggas for pies. Scared, she was just annoyed. She buried her head in her pillow and filled her mind with positive thoughts. Decadent meat pies, her family, the farm. And with that, she drifted off to sleep. The next morning, Gertrude couldn't wait to ask the knight how he slept. But the knight was nowhere to be found. The that nigga got murdered. A fresh rack of pies from the oven. What that nigga's night? killing he niggas for baker. meat, bro. Oh, him? The baker said dismissively. He was summoned to an errand for his lord and took Bullshit. off the night. Care Fuck for no. a pie? This answer didn't sit well with Gertrude, and the lack of sleep was beginning to wear on her. The rest of the day, customers came in droves, and she was able to distract herself by selling pies. But night came too soon. To Gertrude's surprise, the inn remained silent. Somehow the silence was more unsettling. That's because nobody what? stayed in the hotel that night. The day off, she got up and crept over to the guest room where the night stayed before. There was nothing remarkable. It was just empty. She thought she had seen enough until she noticed an odd seam in the wall. She pulled it open to reveal a secret compartment. There in a pile laid a hoard of belongings, silks, swords, shoes, and armor. Every instinct told Gertrude it was time to leave. She rushed quietly down the hall, rounded the corner, and then covered her mouth in shock. The baker blocked the doorway to her room. Bruh. He was looking for her. Gertrude moved decisively in the other direction, down the stairs and towards the exit, until suddenly she heard a man crying for help, risking escape and safety. Fuck no, I'm she out that bitch. Cries over to the larder. Inside, I can't help you. Gertrude saw sacks of flour, a bloody butcher's block, and a pile of human skulls. She gagged, now horrified. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm gonna be real with y'all. If y'all was in this situation, right? Do you go and save the person screaming for their for for like help? If I was her, fuck no. I'm out that bitch. Only because I don't know what's down there. I don't know this area like that. The the killer knows this area like the back of his hand. So if I get if I get lost or trapped, I'm screwed and we both dead. The most I can do is escape, right? call the cops or whatever the fucking horse the horseman whatever the fuck they got back then and they can come and help you because i can't do nothing for you chief by her new understanding the pie is a secret ingredient she been eating she human meat though who was crying out and immediately began to untie him and wasn't that homie that sold it to silver there was now a knife held up to her face fuck it was the baker do you remember this man asked the baker Gertrude glanced at the tied up man and had a shock of recognition. Yes, said the baker. It's the man with the feather cap who humiliated you. And now he's here at your mercy. She what the fuck does this have to do with anything? Invitation. Even if he hurt me, nobody deserves this. I see, said the baker. But if you let him go, I'll still need meat from someone to make the pies. I you fucking knew it. And you see, it's either him or you. A week later, Gertrude's family began receiving parcels of silver delivered by messenger once per week. Over time, the farm began to flourish again and was doing better than ever. What the fuck did she do? Seeing Gertrude, father said. But because of all her hard work, the farm is safe. I just hope she's happy wherever she is. And to this day, they say you can get the tastiest pies in all of Ardenvale if you visit a little haunted inn run by a baker and his assistant. But whatever you do, so she killed this don't nigga. Stay for the night, bro. What the fuck, nigga? I knew his game from the jump. I knew it. 
when those pies started coming up, I was like, nah, something up with them pies. Ain't no way. Dude. Imagine being served human meat. That's low-key like the fucking, the, like the first season of Walking Dead when it was being served like human meat or whatever. I'd fucking lose my mind. Nigga, I'd have to kill you for serving me another person. And that's just how it would have to be. I'm going to be real. But if y'all enjoyed the story, let me know down in the comments below. Original video link will be down in the description. And yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I'm excited to be back. And I'm excited for more horror stories. I'll see y'all in the next one. I love y'all. Peace. I'ma pull up in that new thing, feeling like I'm Bruce Wayne. Yeah, I get more money than your man. So baby, hop up in my new thing, put you on some new things. So